Good morning, CNS. Today is Wednesday, October 5th, 2022, and it's an A day. And it's holiday close day, and I'm not too long Faye. I'm Allie Perry. Good morning, everybody. We'll be right back after this. Seniors, the Career Center is sponsoring a trip to Onondaga Community College's open house on Friday, October 28th from 8.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. Pick up a permission slip in the Career Center. Space is limited, so be first come, first serve. The college lineup today is University of Vermont at 10.45 and Elmira College at 11.45 in the Career Center. Students can register through their Squire account or by stopping by the Career Center. Last minute students are welcome. The college visit calendars are on the Career Center website. If you're having trouble deciding on a career, the Career Center is offering the Career Exploration Assessment on October 18th at 8.30 a.m. and October 19th at 8 a.m. in the Career Center. This program assists students in making their plan for after high school. Register with Mrs. Deaver in the Career Center. See the Career Center website under Current Events for more information. Are you interested in learning more about career opportunities in manufacturing, apprenticeships, and careers that are hands-on? Cayuga on a Dog of Boces is sponsoring an event with representatives from these areas on October 12th. 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. Students and parents can register online. The link to register is in the description of this video. More information can be found on the Career Center website. <laughs> Skiers and snowboarders. The Ski and Snowboard Club meeting is tomorrow at 2.10 in the LGI room 246. Labrador is offering a discounted weekday rate for students and parents. Please come to the meeting. It will be short and quick, and you can pick up the ski and snowboard forms. If you cannot make the meeting, see Mrs. Robinson in room 273 or Mr. Frost in 143. And now, here's Jacob with sports. After waiting almost a week, Aaron Judge has hit his 60-second home run of the season, making a new AL record. Big win for girls' soccer last night against Liverpool. The ladies controlled the tempo for the majority of the game. The, they won with the score of 1-0. School scored by Maya Germain. Great job. Johnny Lisi has a chance to catch up with the girls' star keeper, Megan McGrath. Hey, North Star Nation. Johnny Lisi here with girls' soccer goalie, Megan McGrath. Megan, how are you feeling coming off that huge win? Really good. I'm really excited to play FM now, especially. How are you feeling coming into that huge game? Um, well, I was just thinking we had to be ready. Like, it was a big game, and we just barely got out of it last time. So, we had to show them that we earn it. And how are you feeling about your great performance tonight? Um, just hope I keep it up. I'm trying to work harder than the game before, so... Thank you, Megan. Great game by the North Stars tonight, beating Liverpool 1-0. Catch the North Star Network all season on Team One Sport. The boys' golf team traveled to Drumlin's East Golf Course yesterday to compete in the season-ending sectional championship. The blue team finished in second, led by Drew, my freshman Drew Kepin and senior Jack Wolanowski, shooting a 75, and senior Shaw Lauren with a 78. Other scores for the team were Caden Hacker, 82, Nate Buston, 87, Carter Costello, 89, and David Schmidt, 91. And on the green team, Ethan Matthews and Kyle Klonowski, 96, and Kyle Nichols with 100. Boys Volleyball has a game tonight against ESM. The game starts at 6. The theme is blackout. Girls Field Hockey has a game at Cortland High School tonight at 6.30. Good luck, girls. That's all for sports. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Jacob. For lunch today, there will be hot meatball su mm. <laughs> subs, salad, and seasoned, seasoned green, green beans. beans. Y'all. That is all for today. Remember that tomorrow is Multiplicity Day. And from the morning show, I'm Allie Perry. And I'm Nada Longafe. Have a great day. All right. Awesome.